Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can send your buyer's data from uh, your sales funnels to MailChimp. So let's begin. As you can see, I have WP Funnels installed and activated in my WordPress dashboard and I also have the WP Funnels integrations add-on here, alright? So when you want to connect WP Funnels with MailChimp, you will need the integrations add-on and once you do, you'll find this menu on the left side. So let me click on this and you can see that this is where you get to connect with all the supported uh, automation tools that we have, okay? So uh, for MailChimp, you need to have WP Funnels integrations add-on installed and activated as well, okay? Now, uh, basically what I'm gonna show you in this video is that I'm gonna use a funnel where uh, based on the user actions, I'm gonna add their data to MailChimp by assigning them a specific tags and adding them to a specific list, okay? Uh, so, uh, first what you need to do is you need to connect MailChimp to WP Funnels. So once you click on this icon, okay, you'll see you have the option to submit the API keys and server. So these are things you need to collect from your MailChimp. So let me just first show you how you can collect them. So if I go to MailChimp and uh, here on the very bottom, click on the uh, image of your account and here go to account and billing. Once you click on that, this will take you to this page. Here, click on extras and choose API keys. Once you click on that, here, scroll down and go to this section that says your API keys. So here, you need to create an API key to connect your MailChimp account to WP Funnels. So let me just create one. And there you go. So my API key is created. I can change the API level if I want to. So let's say, uh, I'll just change it to funnel uh, offer okay so there you go so this API key is ready then just click over here and copy the API key and go back to the integrations uh, page for WP funnels and here under MailChimp paste it under the API key field now in this key at the end you'll see there's a hyphen and there are certain uh, portion of this whole key so anything after the hyphen is basically the server ID you simply copy the part after the hyphen, uh, cut it and paste it into the field for server and then remove the hyphen from the key. And then click on authorize and it will get authorized, all right? So there you go. So now I have connected MailChimp to my WB funnels. Now it's time to uh, test it out by sending data. Now before I do that, you need to uh, remember that when you create a funnel and you want to send data to MailChimp, all right? You first need to make sure you have some lists created in MailChimp and you have tags created there. All right, so in my MailChimp account, I have one list and I have two tags created and that's the one I'm going to assign my uh, buyers to uh, when they take actions in the funnel. Okay, so now let me go to WP Funnels uh, overview page and you can see I have a funnel created. Let me just edit this and this is basically a four step funnel. Okay. So here in the landing page, I have an opt-in form. Let me just show it to you. There you go. There's an opt-in form. Uh, let me go back to the canvas. Then I have the checkout page where they can you know, pay for the initial product. And then he'll get an upsell offer. If he accepts or reject it, based on that, he'll go to the thank you page. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to set up user events so that whenever someone submits the opt-in form, that time his data will be added to MailChimp. All right. Uh, and he'll be in that particular list and a tag that I want to assign. Again, I'm going to set a second user event where if someone accepts the upsell offer, that time uh, he'll be added to the list and he'll be assigned a specific tag. Okay, so let me show you how that works. So simply go to integrations and here you will be able to create an integration uh, for action figures. So since I have connected MailChimp now, I'll be getting the option MailChimp over here. So I'll choose MailChimp and you can see that they'll be added over here. Now, in this uh, area which says user event, this is basically a list of uh, events that the user takes throughout the funnel. So CTA trigger is when someone clicks on the next step button in the landing page. Uh, after opt-in from submit is when someone submits the form. The main order acceptance is when someone goes through checkout. And then there's the upsell accept and rejected trigger. So uh, this list comes up based on the steps you have the, in the funnel. For example, if you had a two steps funnel where in the landing, you just had an opt-in form and then there's a thank you step. At that time, you'd only get these two uh, events, the CTA triggered or the uh, after opt-in form. So 
if I had another upsell step here, then there will be two more cases for that upsell uh, for acceptance and rejecting, all right? So here first, let me set up a user event so that when someone submits the form, he'll be added to a specific list and tag in MailChimp. So let me just choose the event as after opting from submit. And here, the list and tags are pre-populated with the list and tags that are already in my MailChimp account. Let me show you. If I click on this, you can see this is the list I have in my MailChimp account that says funnel one list, okay? And then uh, here, I will be able to find the tags I have created in MailChimp. So I have one that says offer no, I have one for opt-in, I have one for testing, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign him the tag opt-in, okay? I'll just save this, all right? And then I'm gonna create another user event so that when someone accepts the upsell offer, okay, he will be added to the same list but he'll be assigned a different tag. So let's say I'm gonna assign him the tag testing, okay? So if he accepts the upsell offer, he's gonna be added to the same list, but he'll be assigned a different tag, okay? Let me just save this, there you go. So now my uh, integration uh, for user events is set up. Now what will happen is that based on user actions in this funnel, their data will be sent to MailChimp. So let me just save this and then show this funnel in action. So let me just preview the landing page. And on the landing page, I have the opt-in form, but rather than testing it in admin mode, let me just open it up in an incognito window, okay? So uh, when you create a funnel and you want to test it out, it's always best to test it in incognito so that you know what your buyers are gonna see uh, in real time, okay? So there you go. So let me just input, uh, let's say, a dummy text. Let's say John Doe, and I'm giving a dummy email. J -O -A -N -O -N -G so there you go and let me click on get it now so once I submit the form there you go my form is submitted now this data should be sent to MailChimp right so let's go and check it out let me minimize this and let me go to my MailChimp account and let's go to all contacts and there you go you can see that the data has been added. So this is the email and the name I used to submit the opt-in form. And he has been added to this list. Uh, and you can see that he has been assigned the tag opt-in, just like I set up in the user event. Now here, I just have one list, which is funnel one list, and you can see right here. Uh, in a higher plan for MailChimp, you will have the option to check out the list over here in the drop-down. So based on this list, this will also be populated in WB Funnels and you can choose different lists to send the data to, okay? So now let's get back to my funnel, all right? Now I've also assigned another user event, as you remember, that when someone accepts the upsell offer, he'll be assigned a different tag, but in the same funnel one list, and he'll be assigned a different tag called testing, all right? So now let's go ahead and check that one out, all right? So let me just, uh, again, preview the landing page. And again, I'll just copy it into an incognito window. And there you go. So now let me just get the book and uh, go to the checkout page where uh, I have to you know, take the initial product. So I'll just use, let's say, John Hanks. So I'm just using a different name now, all right? Let's choose United States on Main Street, uh, Town City, San Jose. So I'm just using dummy uh, uh, data here so that I can just fill out the form and show you how this works. Okay. So let's say this one. There you go. So let's say John dot Hanks at gmail.com okay so now we included the data and here I have stripe test mode enabled so that I can test it out so I'll just use the dummy uh, credit card okay there you go and let me place the order and this is going to take me to the upsell page of that funnel and there you go so this is the upsell page and I have the option to accept it or reject it but I told you I've set up the user event so that if he accepts the offer, he'll be added to that list and he'll be assigned the tag testing. So let me just choose, yes, I want this. And there you go, this is to the thank you page. You can see I've taken the main order. I've also taken the uh, upsell offer, all right? So now let me minimize this and let's go to MailChimp. 
So let me just reload the all contacts list. And there you go. You can see that the contact has been added. You know, so when I submitted uh, the checkout form, I used john.hanks at gmail. I used the name John Hanks. This is the address I provided. This is the phone number I provided. So after that, when I accepted the upsell offer, just like I defined in the user event, he's added to this list and he's assigned the tag testing that I assigned in the user events. So that's it. That's how easy it is to send data from your sales funnel to MailChimp based on the user events you have defined uh, over here. And uh, they'll be added to the sign list and tags that you defined. Okay. So uh, then you can run your email campaigns, automation campaigns uh, for those lists and tags, however you want. Okay. So yeah. So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in a future video. Take care.